Trading is extremely difficult, especially in 2023, but what if I could show you a secret that I have been holding back that will help your trading increase by 99%. Well, recently I discovered something that I haven't told too many people about, but in this video, I want to share with you guys a secret and how it can help you guys out tremendously. Before we get started, if you guys want to be mentored by me, I did just open up five spots for my mentorship and hey, look on the screen. There are a couple of students that recently got funded from my mentorship. All you have to do is send me a DM on Instagram and I'll simply reply and see if you're a good fit. And one more thing before we get started, if you guys could show some type of love like this video, drop a comment below, subscribe if you aren't already, and also check out my channel. I have a ton of other videos based around trading and US 30. Now without further ado, let's get into my computer. All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a trading checklist and then we're going to back test a couple of days so you can actually see how it works. But this is a game changer. I recently started doing this. And the cool thing about this is there's just a lot of accountability. It's not just like I'm guessing I'm rushing the markets. It's like, no, if my trades are not here or they do not fit the criteria of this checklist, then I'm not taking a trade. So what I want you guys to do is open on if you go to google drive you can open a word document and all you're going to do is just type in trading checklist and then you're going to put all your requirements that make it a good trade for you like with me i want to see consolidation in asia and a break of structure in london that continues continues in the new york open at 6 30. then i want to see a rejection of the 20 ema with the spinning top candle hammerhead or bullish engulfing bearish engulfing higher low or lower high being formed, spinning top candle, hammerhead candle, bullish, bearish, engulfing. I want to see smooth trending markets in a 24-hour cycle. Now, my A-plus trade is going to be when all these boxes are checked. But hey, I'm only really looking for two or three of these to meet my requirements to overall give me a valid trade. So to actually get it in this checklist form like this, you're going to go right here where it has this little box and just click it like that. And then we'll have the little pop up bubbles like this. Now, what I did is I actually went and I printed this out. So I made this whole checklist fit the screen or the paper and then I printed it out and I got it laminated and I'm using an expo marker to just mark every day. So I have a physical copy with me. That's what I would recommend doing. But I have a physical copy where I can just mark, okay, here's where I see this. Oh, we got a higher high right here or a higher low. Um, we have a spinning top as well and the markets are smooth, boom. So if I have two or three of these marked out, that's basically gonna be a C plus trade for me. But if I have three to five of these marked off, okay, that's a B plus trade, meaning that I'm gonna risk probably a little bit more. But if I have an A plus trade where all of these are marked up, that's an A plus trade for me, and I'm gonna be risking a lot more than I usually would. So on the C plus trades, I'm probably risking like 1%. The B plus trades, I'm risking like 2%. Then the A plus trades, I'm risking about 3% per trade. So really take in mind that you wanna have like all the requirements that are really gonna make it a valid setup. So if you don't know what a valid setup looks like for you, go back to the markets and be like, okay, well, what if it rejects the 20 EMA? Is that a valid setup? Okay, what about a hammerhead or a higher low, lower high? Go through. If you guys want to copy mine and you trade US 30, go for it. Completely fine. I'm not tripping. Maybe you might not understand the 24 hour cycle or the consolidation in Asia, but that's fine. All I want you guys to do is create a trading checklist, and this is going to hold you accountable to where if you don't see any of these things on the chart, then it is not a valid trade. You are not going to take it. Okay. Now we're going to actually look at the markets and back test a couple of days. So I'm going to get to the 615 candle. Two more. Okay. Now it looks like it's oversold, but I don't see anything that's meeting my requirements yet. So what I'm going to do is wait for the next couple of candles. Okay. There's that false breakout. It looks like. Okay, so this does look like a nice rejection candle. So I can see that my hammerhead 
is right here. This one is marked. This does look like a lower high and it is rejecting the 20 EMA with a spinning top. So I'm looking to now go short right here. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sell right here. I'm gonna have my stops up to around a thousand pips to be safe. And for my TP, I'm gonna aim for this low right here. And we're gonna play it back. All right, TP was hit right there. So on that trade, I wouldn't have had that big of a lot size. Um, I do tend to use a little bit bigger of a stop loss when I'm trading NAS 100 and US 30. So this was a winner right here. It met the requirements on my checklist. Now let's uncheck these and we're gonna look at the next couple of days. So that was Friday, let's go to Monday. Skip forward, okay, there we go. We got Monday at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. Okay, so I'm not confident with this candle right here. It doesn't look like anything's gonna happen. And what I see too that I don't like is these markets are really choppy. It's just, these aren't very smooth markets. I don't like how they're looking. So I'm honestly going to just skip this day in whole. And we're gonna go to the next day. So let's get to Tuesday. All right, these markets are looking a little bit better. Does look like we have a bearish engulfing, so we can check this off. We have a bearish engulfing. This can be construed as a lower high. And we are below the EMAs, I'm not gonna check this off. So on this trade, I wouldn't be risking too much, but I'd be looking for shorts. Have my stops up here. And for my TP, I'm going to aim for this next level, and we're going to play it back. There's another entry right there. If we missed it, the rejection of the 20 EMA, very nice. Boom, TP hit. So that's all that I would recommend that you guys do is go through and make a checklist and go and back test a couple of months on US 30 or NAS, whatever pair that you trade, and actually see if it's applicable. But the most important part is figuring out when are these setups the most accurate setups in my personal opinion occurring. And then you need to go and write a checklist of all those things that make it your perfect setup, write them down, print it out, laminate a copy, and then just use an expo marker to where you can check off the little boxes right here at the end when it fits your requirements. Hope you guys got some value from this video and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out guys.